Hello everyone, this is Paul Bertarelli reporting from a cold and windy ramp at Wellington, Kansas. I'm at Airplanes and Airplanes is developing what they call an ADI or anti-detonation injection system so that you can burn uh, low octane MOGAS in a high compression, high output engine like the uh, IO520 here in the Cessna 180. And all ADI really is is basically water injected into the cylinders to keep detonation from occurring. So we're going to check it out uh, with a short test flight in the uh, 180. So I've explained basically that ADI is nothing but injecting water into the cylinders uh, to quench detonation. I'm uh, with Raphael Sodan in the uh, Cessna 180 test aircraft that Airplanes has been using. Raphael, explain the, the basic plumbing of this system here. How exactly is it set up? Right, we have two injectors uh, just below the throttle valve and we have a computer that's monitoring manifold pressure and CHD temperatures. So as soon as the manifold pressure goes above 25 inches or your CHDs go above 400 degrees F, uh, the system turns on the ADI uh, fluid so it starts injecting methanol into your engine. And the, mon the system is con constantly monitoring that on and off. Um, so anytime you need it, the system is on. Anytime you don't need it, the system's completely off and you're burning 91 octane fuel. And, and the limits here are a CHT of 400 degrees and a manifold pressure of uh, 25 inches. Above those, the ADI is accurate. That's correct. And that turns out mostly to be in takeoff, doesn't it? That is correct. Yep. So really, uh, in, in normal flight, the ADI is not on and we're not injecting uh, much uh, methanol water mixture. So we're not using much of it. Not using much of it, that's correct. Now, uh, how about the plumbing? Uh, we've got a tank in the back. What's the capacity? Right. We have a tank in the back. It's a uh, five gallons capacity. Um, and the lines will come up. Uh, there is a vapor suppression pump also that's installed in the airplane to pressurize the, the, the fuel and the computer. So it's a very simple system with a tank, a computer, and the nozzles. Now actually operating the system is pretty simple. It's part of the run-up procedure. Uh, we'll show a little bit B-roll here of, of the uh, device in the cockpit. We've got a master and uh, then a, a series of tests that you run through. Uh, there's also a backup pump. We can test the backup pump and we test that by turning it on. We see a little RPM loss as the water is injected. Um, what about maintaining the system? Uh, how much fluid would you expect to use? Since it's uh, used primarily in takeoff, I wouldn't expect much. Not much. Um, I actually forgot when was the last time I uh, filled this tank, and it's been a good uh, 40 hours. Uh, so you only use it for about two minutes, and as long as you're below the 25 inches, the system is off, or the heads. Uh, winter day like today, it's not a problem. Now, uh, tell me a little bit about that fluid. The mixture is water and methanol. What's the ratio? The ratio is 60% uh, methanol, 39% water, and 1% oil. There is a little bit of oil to keep the rust away from it. It's uh, methanol is a little uh, corrosive. Now, the, uh, the system allows you to burn uh, 91 octane uh, MOGAS. Or, or, but not less than 91 octane. You could also burn 93. That's correct. And of course, you can run it on normal uh, uh, avgas, in which case you would turn the system off to conserve the fluid. That's correct. Now, uh, th this is the test article. This has a test system in it, but this is really a production system, I assume. Right. Yes, it is. Uh, we have it approved on the 188s, the Barons, and the 210s. And what will be the typical cost? The typical cost of the system is about $12,000. And uh, that would be for a single-engine airplane? That's for a single-engine airplane. And how about in the Baron? We don't have hard numbers for the Baron yet. We're looking for a customer that we can work with. And uh, for the first customers, we have uh, special prices that we want to work with them. And when do you expect to be uh, shipping this or have it available, or is it now? It's We're shipping. Uh, we have some customers uh, outside of the U.S. that we're shipping that out. Um, and we have uh, two customers uh, in the U.S. that are um, they're using that now. Okay. Well, thanks for the briefing. You're welcome. Paul Bertarelli reporting for AvWeb and Aviation Consumer from over Wellington, Kansas, and Airplanes. Thanks for watching.